easy job? It was until I found out that it's the wrong throttle body. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful evening here in Lincolnshire. I'm back with the K11 Nissan Micra, and if you've been following our journey on the channel, you will know that it is my very first car. It's been in the garage for 10 years, and we're trying to resurrect it for Rustival 2. At the moment, well, it's still running like a bag of nails. We've replaced the fuel, we've cleaned some bits and pieces, we've checked all the earths, and it's still not running right. Dad has diagnosed that the idle control valve attached to the throttle body is no good. The problem is that the idle control valve to replace is £250. I think we better have a plan B. Good afternoon, how are you? Very good, thank you. Uh, we're back then with the K11. I am... Um getting bored of this thing not running properly. Okay. I'm sure you must be too. <laughs> I'm busy doing a teapot impression at the moment. <laughs> um, so what have you been up to since we last saw you? Tinkering. Tell me about your tinkering. Tinkering. Well, I've been following the diagnostic in the book and checked the wire into this valve thing, took the valve off yep. and found out it's knackered inside. And that is where we left the last video. It is, is it? <sighs> I've been away, I've looked at the price of these things, an idle control valve, 250 quid. Yeah, because you can't buy it separate. Mm. You can. You can buy it separate. Can you? But it is a lot of money. The throttle body's that, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's 150 quid. That's what? a reconditioned one. Mm. What do you reckon the best plan of action might be? Find somebody that's got a second hand one and try it. Yeah. So leave that with me. We're going to try and grab a second hand one. We could one. take one off the show, off the. Uh, off the, uh, the museum, museum micro. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. So I'm going to go away and try and source this. This is proper wheeler dealer stuff now, isn't it? I've left Off you, you Ed Off China, you in the garage, and I'm going to go away well, with me. While while Mike's cash. away fetching the bits, but I'll put a new body shell on it. <laughs> yeah. So um, what else have you been doing to the car? Because you said to me earlier, oh, lean in and touch the uh, the gear lever because it was oh, right. It yes. was all over the shop. Well, it wasn't. It was seized, wasn't it? And it didn't centralise. No. So let's have a so so in there is the gear knob, uh, lovely on there. And it was it was it was like it stiff stopped and where didn't centralise, and it was a problem. What have you done? Well, the linkage at the front was seized up, so I took the nylon bushes out, cleaned the corrosion out, and greased it with silicon, put it back together, and refitted the spring that centralises it. Because <laughs> that was what was hanging against the heat shield. Okay, yeah, because it was making a horrible noise. Twanging noise, because the spring was dangling. So how was the heat shield? It was fine? No, the heat shield was a pain in the boom. Oh, what did you have to it's do there? five bolts in it and three of them broke off. Oh, great. So it's been drilling and tapping all afternoon. Great, but it's looking good now? It's all put back together, yeah. Excellent, thank you for that. So another job jobbed then, in between the mm. meantime of trying to get it run, Gear uh, set knob, gear. Well, I don't know how to say it. What what is it you've it's done? The linkage. The gear linkage has been renovated. Yeah. And talking about renovation, you'd got the battery carrier off last time. Oh Christ! Oh yes. Have you done it? Have you have you painted I, it? Of course, I painted it and put it back on. Oh my goodness! Let's have a look. You can't see very well. It's down there now. Oh, but you've oh, and you've painted the battery carrier there, the battery holder. Down there. There yeah. it is. Look down there. What colour have you painted it? Black? He's done it with the chip. Nice. So that's just tarted that up a little yeah. bit. It wasn't rotten, it was just... Scabby. Scabby. Um, okay, I have a suggestion then. Right You're on. saying get a second-hand throttle body and MAF sensor and idle control valve. Yeah. There's a bloke locally I know who has a field full of these. He's got about 30. I'm going to go give him a ring. So I've just given him a ring. He is going to take a look and see if he can spare anything for us. Still running like a bag of nails. This he goes. This is, this is it. Now she's going to start revving. Revving. So when it warms up, it works okay. But when it's cold and trying to idle... First thing this morning, it was horrible. Okay. Well, we're going to have to put a second hand thing image yeah. on it if you can get one. Hopefully, my mate can get me one. Da, 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 da. Hey, now look at that. He's done good. He's actually found us the proper, genuine Nissan throttle body, MAF sensor, and idle control valve off a car that was in his yard. Did it run all right? 
Well, we don't know, do we? That's the problem. Uh, um, 30 quid, that's cost. So it's worth a punt, isn't it, for yes, 30 it pounds? Um, I'm guessing if we were to, as I say, try and get a reconditioned throttle body off the internet, it's going to be sort of 150 quid, isn't it? So yeah. for the sake of this, if I've wasted 30 pound, I've wasted 30 pound. But actually, we've got things such as the math sensor and probably a good... Um, throttle body. Can you just explain to me how this works and what it does? Because I, I don't really understand. There's your accelerator cable. Yep. That's your throttle position sensor. Yep. So it lets wind in. So it lets air in here. When that opens, wind goes in there, past the mass airflow meter, so it knows how much wind's going in. Yeah. It's also got a temperature thing in there so it can compensate for temperature that's your idle control valve that we've got playing up so what that does is it lets a bit of extra air in because the, right. idea, the idea being if you've got air it knows how much air is going in it compensates and gives you enough fuel to work it okay now i understand so a relatively simple part this bit it's just a metal casting but the stuff that is connected mm. to it is Electrical computery gubbins. What makes it go? Sends in signals to the. Uh, that sends signals to the ECU. That sends signals to the ECU. And that makes it go up and rev up and give it a choke. And Is it an easy job on. to fit? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're not going to be fitting it this evening. No, we're not. But we, we are going to be tea. fitting it um, in this video. But uh, the next time you see us, it will be day two of trying to replace this. But at least we got one, because for 30 quid, if it's no good, it's no good. We are taking a punt on it, really, aren't we? But soon find out. Is it a very easy thing to fit? Yeah. So why aren't we fitting it now? Because if it doesn't fix it... It'll have ruined your night. Yeah. Fair enough, I understand. So I'll be going home, you'll be having your tea, and oh, then well am. the next day, tomorrow, we're going to fit that throttle body. Hopefully... It's fixed the problem. I don't want to tempt fate, but if it has fixed the problem, what's next after that? I was working getting them exhaust flanges off so I can take the sump off. And if that, then we're going to have to start, if it runs all right, then we're going to have to start buying some bits. I'm afraid. Good job, it's payday. Right, it's day two then. We're back. How are you, day two? All right, mate, after I've got that throttle body that fitted that didn't fit. Yes, well, hang on a minute, we'll talk about that. So when we last left you, um, we had organised to go to a scrapyard. We'd been to the scrapyard and we'd pulled off a throttle body and math oh, sensor and oh, control. Was, that car? was it like an O2? 52 plate, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I said to you, why are we not fitting that? And you said, because I can't be bothered tonight in case it goes wrong. Well, it's day two then, and you fitted it. Um, yeah. We haven't documented the fitting process because you couldn't wait until I got here. You did it whilst I was um, out and about. Easy job? It was until I found out that it's the wrong throttle body. How do you mean it's the wrong throttle body? I'll show you. Well, it can't be the wrong throttle body. It fitted, and it came off a Micra. This is the one that took off. Yeah. So that's, so that's the one from this car? Yep. Yeah, what's that? That air watered one runs down there through some hoses. Right. And the new one didn't have that? No. Okay. So I'm guessing you just deleted it? I've put a bridging pipe in. Where? Down there, look. Let's have a look in there. Oh my goodness. So that brand new piece of copper pipe in here, what's that all about? keeps the circulation going because it goes round there and it goes round and it also goes round the manifold. So this is the new idle control valve? It just heats valve. the manifold up, mate. Start you getting wet wall in. Okay. Stop it icing up. Was that a big job? But for some or? reason they must have decided that it was not necessary because the one we took it off hadn't got one. No. I'm guessing you could probably take those out and press them in, but... Oh, what, in, out of the old one? But I'm guessing they'll be stuck in. Yeah, so well, I bridged the... it. For the sake of doing it, it was, you know, fair enough. Okay, um, I suppose it's moment of truth then, isn't it? We've pushed it out of the garage. Shall we see if it starts and idles? Da, 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 da. Of course, I've never checked this, have I? <laughs> I haven't checked this, have we, I? Okay, we know the answer. Ta-da! Yes, we did um, test it before we, uh, we filmed this. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on.
happy days. Yeah, that she's is. On, she's on fast idle at the minute. Good man. news. So, as you uh, may or may not know, it was struggling to idle. Uh, it was struggling to hold its idle. We fitted fresh fuel. We drained the fuel tank. We cleaned all the petrol uh, filter. We did all sorts of stuff to it. Put Redex in it and. We, we, we genuinely thought it was, it was the fuel, but it wasn't. It was that idle control valve. You were right. That saved us a lot of money, that has. Because an idle control valve, as we said, 250 quid. Throttle body, 150 quid. Math sensor, 30 odd quid. And for the sake of 30 quid... Oh, what's that you got there? Is that the old? It's, it's, it's decided to stop on there, oh. but there's a little metal collar inside there that was broken. Right. Do you think that's what was causing the problem? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I know it was, because we've a new bag and it's fixed, <laughs> isn't it? So the good news is... She runs. And the update is that the K11 Micra is now running. That does mean that we've got lots of other things to do now. Yeah, we've got some protons to do. No, 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 no. We've got lots to do on this car. It needs a new sump. It needs an oil change. It needs a coolant flush. It needs a new fuel filler neck. The Triumph Tigers need riding. It needs welding at the back. Mum needs entertaining. Yeah. So, um, so it's, it's mechanically working now. That's the main thing. So we can crack on with it. Are you happy? I'm blooming bubbling over, pal. Um, are you going to do the welding? Yes. Are you going to... What are you going to do next? Ride my bike. Okay, fair enough. Well, you get out on your bike Excellent. and uh, I will... I was going to say I'll take my micro for a spin, but sadly not, not allowed, that. not no. yet. It's not no. MOT day. MOTs, tyres. Good. She'll be all right. Well, that could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Right, onwards and upwards. Well, there you have it then. £30 has fixed the problem and saved the day. Phew. Uh, thankfully, we're not having to spend 450 quid on a new throttle body, MAF sensor and idle control valve, which, to be honest with you, in a real world sense, would have probably been what the car is worth. Dad said it was that. We kind of knew it was that, and the fact that we managed to get one from the Banger Boys and from one of their scrap cars for that price has saved the day, so thanks to them. Um, what's next? Well, we've got loads of other stuff to do. We need to put a new sump on it and replace the oil, do an oil and filter change. The coolant system needs flushing, and we've got a new expansion tank to fit. The rear wiper at the back is broken now, so we need to buy and fit a new one of those. And, well, Dad's taken it off. Uh, this afternoon as well, a new fuel filler neck is needed because if you can see that, well, it's very rotten. So I've got one of them on order uh, and it's going to cost us, I don't know, 50 or 60 quid. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please, if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing. Uh, there are loads more K11 micro videos coming to the channel in the coming weeks. Will we be rust of already? Well, we're getting there now, aren't we? Um, we're still mulling it over about how we're going to tackle that welding, but the fact that Dad has said that he's going to do it, well, the K11 project lives on. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.